CMP's chief Johnny Jennings said that he is hoping that today's verdict will allow the community and law enforcement to better work together to build better relationships. The chief said that his department has taken a hard internal look at its policies and procedures to find out what it is that they need to change in order to work better with the community. Now, some of those changes have already been in place. For instance, last summer during protests after George Floyd's death, the department used tear gas to clear the crowd. Well, now police are saying they won't be doing that anymore after hearing from several people in the community. We also spoke with Mecklenburg County Sheriff Gary McFadden, who said he hopes this verdict will send a message to activists, law enforcement, and others in the community that they still have more work to do. When things such as this happen, we sometimes feel like we take 10 steps backwards. Uh, what I want to make sure that we do and we recognize here is that justice uh, has spoken here. And we need to stop pointing fingers, fingers and do the work. This is a victory for the Floyd family, but we, we need absolutely true criminal justice reform and not just talking heads. And Sheriff McFadden also said he believes that law enforcement policing, that that's a noble profession, but he also says he understands that there are a lot of people who do, don't feel as equally protected. Now, coming up in 30 minutes, we're speaking with Charlotte's mayor to get her reaction. But for now, we are live in Uptown. Ryan Kruger, Fox 46. Yeah,